I mean, I mean, I honestly can't make this stuff up. What's more in the realm of possibility? What she ate for dinner tonight, creamy dressing recipe, easy and satisfying, fully raw vegan 16 years well. I believe her boyfriend is some gigantic black dude, so it can certainly be tonight and creamy. Easy and satisfying, I mean, <laughs> the, the, the salad bowl is bigger than her, so I hope it's satisfying. It doesn't look too easy, though. Fully raw vegan 16 years, yeah, and my uh, PP is uh, 36 inches long. So let's um, let's see how this goes. Aloha, my friends, Christina here, and I'm so happy to be back in a new video with you today. I'm gonna to be sharing with you what it Just look at her skin. Has any vegan ever had skin that actually looks reasonable? You know, she, it looks somewhat healthy. She has a tan, yeah, granted her face looks like 15 years older than it should. At least the rest of her looks somewhat healthy. I'm eating for dinner tonight, plus my new favorite creamy tahini balsamic vinaigrette dressing. So many of you have reached out to me asking for more. Is the, you guys see that? The, the, the fly buzzing around? Is that part of the, uh, is that fly part of the recipe? Creamy tahini balsamic vinaigrette dressing. So we definitely need the protein. Many of you have reached out to me asking for more dinner recipes and many of you loved my last dinner salad and dressing recipes. So fully raw.com. That could definitely be used as something else that's not vegan. I thought I would share another one with you today. I'm always posting my dinner salads on Instagram and one of the most frequently asked questions that I get is, do you really eat that whole bowl yourself? And the answer is yes. I mean, how much did the landscaping cost? You know, you're not living in like some forest. You're paying some laborer like a hundred bucks a week to mow your lawn. Very vegan. Yes. I've been a fully raw vegan for over 16 years now. I've successfully no, reversed my no, type 2 you. diabetes, hyperglycemia, simply by changing what I was putting into my body, simply by changing my diet. So keep in mind, I've been doing this for a very long time. <laughs> it's, like she's, it's like she's trying to hypnotize us. This is so stupid. It's so silly. This like demented gaze into the camera as she pours this creamy slop all over her giant bowl of green she clipped from the trees and what i like to explain to people is that i'm used to eating fiber rich fly foods. still Fruits there and vegetables are still fiber rich around. foods and the more you get used to eating them the easier it becomes to eat a larger quantity of them fruits and vegetables are higher in water content but lower in calories so you do need to eat more of them to get the necessary amount of energy they basically have zero calories there's nothing in like lettuce or leafy green vegetables that's going to give you caloric energy. It's, it's insignificant. Maybe there are certain strains of gut bacteria that can eat it, but we know she's not actually eating only this. Energy or calories that you need. I consume an average of 2,400 calories a day, and I usually keep my dinners abundant, colorful, and savory. If you're looking to transition into this lifestyle, I'm always recommending- Does she not realize how much of a psycho she looks like making this video? to start with one fully raw vegan meal a day and work your way up. For most people, mastering breakfast and lunch is easy because it's easy to have a smoothie or a juice or a plate of fruit during the day. But I think where most people struggle is at night. Maybe you get home from work and you're tired or even your cravings come out at night. Most people express to me that their most difficult meal of the day to master is dinner. Who are these people? Who's watching your videos? Who is listening to this dietary advice? So today I wanted to focus on creating a delicious, savory and simple salad that you can not only make quickly in your kitchen at any time, but also it stores... Re That's literally, what is that, an 8 ounce container of pure fat dressing? <laughs> She's talking about her salad being like high water content, low calories. And she puts like 1500 calories worth of omega-6 on it in the form of tahini. Really well in the refrigerator for one to two it's a up ground to up sunflower days. seeds. I'm also going to show you a dressing recipe that will last in your refrigerator for up to three to four days in a sealed tight container. So you can have this dressing ready to go, whether you want to use it for a quick... Like Honestly, her, her, I'm, I'm very impressed. She's definitely not actually vegan because of her skin tone. Like she looks, her, her tan looks better than mine. Her tan looks better than mine. You want to use it as a dip or a sauce. No, it's I mean, multifaceted and it tastes so good. 
Many of you know that I'm Lebanese and I love tahini, so I am all about this dressing. It's divine. Two more quick announcements, and the first is I'm currently working on a dressings and sauces ebook. I'm creating the ultimate index of every sauce, dressing, dip, soup, everything I've ever created, plus. Please leave your sauce dressing requests below in the comments. So she says she's working on it, then asks her viewers and subscribers for ideas and recipes. Oh man, these people have no creativity and don't want to do any work themselves. More, and I would love your feedback. So for those of you who have any special requests of what you would like to see in this catalog or this ebook, please add it in the comments below. It's gonna take me a couple of months to put this together, but just know that it's coming and I'm so excited. A couple of months, it's a, it's a bunch of sauces. She's been raw vegan for 16 years and she's claiming that she is working on a sauce book like don't you already have like a bajillion recipes already written up or are you just making the same ridiculous tahini dressing the, the same stuff every time these people are such liars it's comical like the amount of flaws in that statement is just excited about it having a good dressing or sauce can make or break your dish it's all about the sauce if you're looking for more raw vegan recipes, you can download my Fully Raw Recipe app. I have more than 450 raw vegan recipes on my app. It's available on iTunes and Google Play. The initial download is free, and then after that, you can choose between a monthly or a yearly subscription. I've included those links below. You can check them. No one, no one has bought the yearly subscription because they die three months into your nonsense. Like there's, Well, I guess you know that is a pretty good business model. If you get them to subscribe for a year and they drop dead three months in, they can't technically cancel the subscription. Now and enjoy. Let's go ahead and jump into this delicious dinner recipe. Are you ready? Let's get started. I'm first gonna prepare the basic ingredients for the salad. I have fresh green curly kale from my neighbor's garden that I'm gonna be using today. I'm gonna chop it up as small or as finely as I can and then place it into my salad bowl of choice. After this, I'm gonna finely mince some fresh cilantro and mix. There is no way the body can handle that amount of like nutrients her liver must be destroyed the amount of like bright every anything that's bright green or colored is going to be so high in flavonoids and and carotene and all that stuff and thankfully most of it's just going through her digestive system but her body's probably so overloaded at this point that she she doesn't digest anything besides like the omega-6 fats and the tahini mix it in i'm also going to finally cut some purple cabbage into strips and add that into the salad as well after this you can really add whatever rainbow toppings that you'd like I'm gonna go ahead and add in some baby rainbow bell peppers in here because I think they add a really nice sweetness and crunch to your salad. Using a carrot peeler, I'm gonna make some carrot strips to add in as well to provide an extra sweetness and texture into the salad. As you can see, this salad is anything but boring. How mouthwatering does this look? So our <laughs> this, la this lady is out of her mind. She's got like 18 pounds of kale with some carrots, red cabbage, and peppers on it. This, this. <sighs> Our salad is ready to go, and you can get as creative as you'd like making your own. Now on to making the dressing. I love pairing this dressing with a specific. Okay. Lime, balsamic, garlic, tahini. So, you know, you have the sweet, salty, acidic from the balsamic, the lime the garlic, some more flavor, salt. And then the, the tahini is really where all the calories are coming from. You know, that's basically 600 calories of pure fat. Oh, she puts water in it to dilute it. Salad because it massages so beautifully into the kale. We're going to be making a creamy tahini balsamic vinaigrette dressing to add on top of this salad. When ready, go ahead and add into your Vitamix blender or blender of choice, the juice of one lemon or lime squeezed, one to two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Be sure to use- No, she looks like they resurrected her out of her coffin and injected her with some blood or something <laughs> to, to, to just liven her up to film this video. Maybe she should turn that cross upside down. This one that has zero added sugars. If you don't want this dressing to be strong, be sure to only start with one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. Two to four cloves of freshly peeled garlic. Two to four tablespoons of raw tahini based upon how much you want to make or save later. One to two teaspoons of pink Himalayan salt. And 
one to two cups of water. Start small and work your way up to find the consistency that you prefer the most. I like my dressings to have a nice thickness to it, so I use less water, but if you want your dressing to be a little less thick, use a little bit more water. It's all about personal preference. This is about what you love to eat and enjoy on your salads. One you know, maybe it's a fake tan, right? Is she going to like some fake tan uh, salon out in the middle of the jungle? Once you've blended up your dressing, you can go ahead and pour it into a glass jar or container of your choice. And voila, you have a dressing that's ready to save and use at any time in your kitchen. I'm going to go ahead and drizzle this dressing over the salad and oh my goodness, how insane does this look? You can eat- <laughs> Imagine, imagine eating those things separately. Imagine her having to eat that bowl of lettuce and vegetables separately and then drink <laughs> the two cups of pure slop. That's crazy. You know, it's funny that she talks about like added sugar and, and how healthy and raw her diet is when she consumes like more agrochemicals, pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides, and then they spray on a golf course in a week. It's fucking ridiculous. Either drizzle this dressing over your salad, or you can just pour it on in and begin massaging it in with your hands. This dressing tastes so good massaged in with all of the ingredients. This is where the flavor really explodes in your mouth. You gotta get a good massage in with your hands. Don't be afraid to have fun with your food. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, I present my dinner salad tonight with a creamy tahini balsamic vinaigrette dressing. How simple, delicious, and nutritious does this look? You can enjoy That's this ridiculous. salad at any- That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That, that like, she must have to sit down. We want proof and a video of her sitting down and eating that because that sheer volume of food would literally fill up her like stomach, small intestine, large intestine, everything. That would. There's no way you can eat all that. Anytime. I hope you love this recipe as much as I do. What I ate, this, there's no way people believe this. Look how big the bowl is. That's like... How, how how many times bigger is that than a normal salad? That's like 20, that's like 20 normal salads, right? At least. Literally, like what is it? A normal salad's like that big? Like a normal salad's like 10 bites? This is like 100 bites of salad. Look, look how ripped she is. Look how muscular she is from holding up that giant salad bowl. She's such a weirdo. How delicious does this salad look? It is, my gosh. This salad is a winner. <laughs> this is crazy. This is great. How long would it, how long would it take you to sit down and eat that salad? At least two hours, right? At least. If you have liked this recipe and if you'd like to give it a try, please be sure to- Oh, more advertising. I mean, this is, this is so ridiculous. This is so out of the realm of possibility. How does anyone believe this? I mean, it's gotta be all fake comments, right? It will take me hours to eat that bowl. Okay, so some, someone's, someone's on planet Earth. How long does it take to finish the whole bowl? That's what I would like to know. I can't believe that some people actually think she eats like that. I'll believe you ate that entire gut busting ball when I see it with my own eyes. Alright, so you know, so so half the people are delusional and half the people are like, what is this lady doing? I would like to see you eat that whole bowl. How long does it take you to finish your salad? You should do a time lapse of you eating the entire bowl. They really don't believe us. LOL. <laughs> yeah, this is this this salad is how you get Hashimoto's, not how you fix Hashimoto's. So I don't understand. Were these people just like making so much money and so popular when the raw vegan trend was going that they're trying to stick to their like viewers and subscribers and still sell nonsense? I mean she's selling Vitamix blenders and that's basically it. I don't know. I don't know. 
it's hard to know how much of this stuff is fake or real because I, I think at this point, especially in uh, in 2022, no one believes this stuff. Like, who, who's actually still eating like this? Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully you've enjoyed the ridiculousness of this video and how clear of a liar she is. No, no, no literally, no, literally no vegan has ever looked like that. Literally, literally. Tannest, tannest vegan to ever exist. But uh, you guys can please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, please check out frank-stefano.com where you guys can support me through all of my businesses. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow. If she doesn't pop out from under my bed and scare me to death. Music